So today we're going to cover hamstrings. Generally, when you are stretching, you, your body should be a little warm, so you shouldn't be cold. I'm just trying to get the blood flowing. We are going to be doing leg stretches, but even if we just get the blood flowing anywhere, if you are new to exercise, if you have been sedentary for some time, then check in with your local health care professional. Do an activity readiness questionnaire. Make sure it's safe for you to exercise. Make sure you have space to exercise if you're joining in today. Don't do anything that doesn't feel good. All right, so we're going to get started here. We're going to start on my right leg. I'm going to place it on a stool or a step. So it could be a chair, a stool, maybe some yoga blocks. Pick a height that allows you to keep your back fairly straight. So one thing you can do is just do a little knee bend and send your tail away. And that will already start engaging and stretching the back of your hamstring. The other thing we can do is just hinge forward. Okay, you can feel the stretch. You have to send the tail back. Try to keep the spine fairly tall. We're trying to fold over at the hip, so my leg and my upper body are two different units. One is hinging towards the other. And let's just bend the knee slightly. Let's slide the hand out, open up. So make sure with this that you do have something to hold on to, something very steady, something solid. Okay, let's drop that arm down. Let's take that leg off. We're gonna switch it over to the second side. So we'll put that leg up. We're gonna start with little bends of the knee, the knee that I'm standing on. At the same time, I'm gonna to start to send my tail a little further away. Send that tail out. That will send, start to pull on that hamstring and stretch it. Now we're gonna keep the back leg nice and straight. We're gonna tip forward. Again, we have the upper body, the leg, and we're hinging the upper body towards the thigh to stretch out the back of the leg. Good, all right, we're gonna let that go. We're gonna shake it out. We're gonna go back to the first side. This time we're gonna make it a little more interesting. We're gonna unlock the knee. We're gonna reach one hand forward. We're gonna have the other hand on our support. We're gonna open up and stretch. So watch here that you, don't, you turn that upper body. Don't feel like you have to reach that arm right behind you. We're trying to open up the chest without over stretching that shoulder. Then we're gonna just let it drop down. Relax the head. If you can, relax the neck. My arm is hanging. I'm gonna circle the arm up, all the way up to the ceiling. Make sure you have a good hold on your support to open. Let that leg down, stretch it out. Second side, we have one more leg coming up. We're gonna unlock the leg we're standing on. We're gonna, I'm gonna slide my hand forward. I'm using a wall. You might be using the back of a chair. We're gonna open. You could be using a counter. Try to rotate the rib cage as you stretch the chest. Good, let's try one more. We're gonna open it up. Good, this time we're gonna drop down. We're gonna let the head come down. We're going to let the back relax. We're going to let the neck relax. We're letting the hand relax. Then we're going to continue the circle of the arm up to the ceiling. Open and stretch. Good. Let's release that leg. So if you are interested in stretching out the hamstrings, that is one way to do it. There are many many ways to stretch out your hamstrings, but that's sort of an eccentrics bar stretch uh, for the hamstrings. 